Metro man accused of dousing a couple in lighter fluid and setting them on fire is charged today in their attempted murders. And that's an upgrade on the arson charges filed just last week. News 9's Sylvia Corkill joining us now live with new details, including video capturing his arrest. Carl Amanda investigators did not have to go far. According to court filings, Michael Madison returned to the scene of the crime and according to witnesses began asking about what was going on. Is everything all right? Uh, what's going on? I stand. He said I stand in the back. Miss Corey Spencer was collecting his garbage. It was Tuesday. I was taking the trash to the curb when suddenly a woman on fire from the, the knees on up came running from the corner of his home. Well, she was so calm. For a person to be on fire. He raced the burning woman into his house. I just told her to just go get in the shower, to go get in the shower. While she extinguished the flames, Spencer went to help her boyfriend. He was mostly asking uh, uh, about her. Is she all right? Where she at? Is she all right? That's all he was saying and screaming. Spencer says the woman asked how badly she had been injured. And asking mostly about her looks. Is this, am I ugly? Does this make me going to be ugly? There were police cars everywhere, Ooh. ambulances, Ooh. fire trucks. A vicious attack happening along the fence line of a cat grooming business where Timber Holt works. Shocked, kind of appalled. Police said the couple had been sleeping along the fence when they were intentionally doused in lighter fluid and set on fire. Minutes later, Holt's employer's cameras captured police arresting Michael Madison, a transient who lived in this makeshift shelter nearby. We believe he's the one who had lit the backfield on fire multiple times. Spencer says he's thankful the couple survived despite the woman suffering burns to 85% of her body. I knew she was going to make it through it just because how she was acting. She didn't fall down to the ground or drop and roll. She was up talking the whole time. Now records show that Madison is a felon and was paroled in connection to a robbery in Kansas. Live in Oklahoma City, Sylvia Corkill, Oklahoma Zone, News 9. Was a vicious attack. All right, Sylvia, thank you. And Madison remains in jail tonight being held on a $1 million bond.